you know, Roger Williams is a thief. And we have institutions in this state that continue to praise his name. He's a thief, a parasite. And because we can look away from Roger Williams, we look away from Brown University. University that participated in the enslavement of indigenous people and African descendants of slaves and still continues to say that it wants to write the books about it. And those are the books that people read about and they try to say that's the history and it's not. It's not the history, the tribe has the history and the tribe will preserve its history and it's up to us to create spaces where the Narragansett Indian tribe can tell everybody else those stories. So here's a story of a guy whose last name was Pell and a guy whose last name was Chafee. And how these two guys with these bridges that we cross at times came together and created a 1978 settlement agreement right before the federal government was gonna give sovereignty to the indigenous people on their land. So it fast-tracked an agreement to landlock Narragansett Indian tribe, to landlock them, to give them a little bit of land, make sure they didn't have access to the ocean, and then to say that if you wanted to build on that land or do something, you have to ask us. So it's not really sovereignty. And so when the casino comes up, the gaming after the 85, and there was this, this, this chance, right? Economic opportunity, build a casino. The state says, no, 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 you need our permission. You need to participate in the bid with us, or, or, or in the state bid. So time passes, and this other crook called Kachiri, a corporate executive, and that was praised for being a cor corporate executive, becomes governor. And when the tribe is very close to winning that bid, he uses the force of the police to raid a smoke shop for cigarette taxes, and he puts his knee on Bella's back, and he puts his knees on others' backs and drags kids. And everybody looked away. Channel 12, that racist media organization that's excluding people of color, looked away. Channel 10 looked away. If we want to identify and understand the injustices that are happening in the urban core, we need to only look towards the injustices that continue to take place towards our indigenous people, our Narragansett Indian tribe. I'm gonna be a governor that stands with you and calls it out and fights for opportunities and resources so that you have access to the ocean and economic opportunity.